Hi guys, the most requested video is finally here. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Philippa and you should totally subscribe and join the smiling squad. So today I'm going to be answering all of you guys' questions and assumptions. So let's go ahead and get started. What is your vibe right now and from what year of inspiration? I feel like right now, I really want to continue making like vlogs and videos. I really enjoy this type of videos. And from what year of inspiration, I'd say maybe like 2019 because 2019 everything was just like really fun and normal and I always like love the type of like aesthetic sounds videos have like the clicks and the crunches and the what else they have like the bling, all that type of stuff. And what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Okay, so maybe I'm the only kid like who did this that you know of, but when I was younger, I would stand in front of the mirror and I'd pretend I was like making a get ready with me video or I'd be answering questions and all that type of stuff. So, and then finally in like December 2019, I took it upon myself and started a YouTube channel. I definitely say my younger self influenced a lot of like me wanting to be a YouTuber. Or maybe just like Jules LeBlanc, I like Bertelli, like those type of videos I used to watch so long. Role models. My role model is probably Jules LeBlanc. I love her style and I love the way she kind of like puts her vibe. I definitely say Jules LeBlanc. What days do you upload? So in the summer I uploaded on Tuesday and Friday, both at 3.30 Euro Central European time. But now that school is slowly starting up again, I will probably just stick to Fridays, 3.30 Central European time. So yeah, but um, maybe I can like scooch a video in there once or twice sometimes. What's your favorite song? So currently I've been listening to a lot of like the iCarly theme song, Leave It All To Me. Live life, breathe air, that. So I'd probably say currently, that's my favorite song, just because I've been having it on repeat lately. Assumption, you're taller than your littlest sister. I would hope. <laughs> the only sister that's taller than me is my 14-year-old sister, Sicily, and she's just, she's like this, I'd say. Like, if we're... Unpopular, <laughs> unpopular opinion, I don't mind your playlist videos. Um, thank you. I know Rishabh, if you go back a couple vlogs, you can hear Rishabh saying Dry up your content too fast because then you might have to post another playlist. That <laughs> means, you know, some people enjoy them. <laughs> I miss you. Yes, I do. What's your Starbucks order? Uh, I don't really go to Starbucks that much. I mostly go to like local coffee places. Especially when I was in Austria, I got like a lot of... <laughs> A lot of iced chai lattes. So that was like my current obsession like a week ago. But I actually have a funny story with a Starbucks time once. So this was like back in July. We had come from that confusing, annoying flight, as you remember, maybe. And um, I was like, I really want to try matcha because it was like my big thing at the time. I was really obsessed with it this summer. Now I've kind of like... Like, I'll drink it if someone hands it to me, but it's not, like, my big drink of the summer, I guess, anymore. Like, my big drink currently. I don't know. I was a really big fan of it because I saw, it like, all over Pinterest and all that stuff. Um, my Starbucks uh, story, basically, I ordered a matcha, but I didn't realize it was going to be hot. So, as a lady, she hands me this mug and she's like, what is this? Who ordered this? My mom was like, that's yours. That's a matcha. I'm just like... Are you naturally blonde? No. No, I'm not. As you can tell, like my hair is kind of fading out, like the brown. I'm originally a brunette. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you go back like to like a year ago, my hair is really dark. Now it's like kind of just light. And I'm going to the hairdressers this Friday and getting a change. So stay tuned. Who's white box? My sister Sicily, your family is very privileged. I say yes, we are, but I don't mean that in like any braggy way. 
I think we have a lot of opportunities and chances, which I'm really grateful for. I'm really grateful for the life that I have. What's next for YouTube? Enjoying the Netherlands vlogs, by the way. Thank you. What's next for YouTube? So I I don't know if you guys go back to like a year, December 2019, like stick around to that type of era. I started like a show called Spotlight Inspire and I've always wanted to kind of continue like continue doing that but maybe I want to start like a new show or whatever I've always wanted to start a talk show where I'm the host and I invite people and we talk about things I don't know I feel like that would be a lot of fun to do so I'm hoping I would want to start a show within the next year and a half or yeah so I'd say that's next for YouTube starting a show and obviously posting consistently you fake your happiness sometimes no hate just guessing I can see where that comes from because I feel like in the vlogs I'm always really hyper and happy and I was like, oh my gosh. I feel like that's generally how I am in real life. I am pretty hyper sometimes and really energetic. I feel like people in the vlogs are just like, mm, she's probably just doing it for the camera. I'm not. This year has been way better than 2020. Secretly the best sister. Shh, hide this from Sicily. Thank you. Thank you. Momo soup's bestie. That's correct. Where do you want to live when you grow up? New York City. 1000%. My favorite place in the world. The most. I feel like if I had to be a city, I would be New York City. Is it the coolest person you know? Yes. 100%. <laughs> Any best friend nightmare stories? Lol. Um, I don't really know what you mean by this question. I was trying to figure it out, but if you mean like people who are like people who you who they're like difficult friendships with like if if I go back like to three years with, with 2018 I am not friends with the people I was back in 2018 now I feel like I kind of just like like 2020 was kind of like If you guys want to hear like a story about this type of stuff, I feel like that should be made in another video because it's a long, in-depth story. But if you mean like friends you're not friends with anymore, then yes, I have a couple stories like that. But if you mean just like a person who's a nightmare, yeah. <laughs> I love your editing. What do you use for your editing? What software do you use to edit with your videos? What do you use to edit? This question is the most asked question on everywhere. I'm, I'm not even joking. Like everywhere, like in the comments, in the DMs, in whatever. People are like, what do you use to edit? So guys, I am finally revealing my secret to you guys. And it's the VC, VSDC software editing. Um, yes, it is a little bit of a complicated software at first, but then you get the hang of it and you're just like, oh, this is good. So, yeah, that, that's, that's that. If you guys want me to make a video on how I edit my videos, I can do that as well. But I hope you guys that it answered that... It, few questions you guys had if you want me to make a part two comment down below plus comment some questions thank you so much for watching i love you and see you in my next video bye cold sweat i was in a nightmare searching in the dark but i couldn't find you there were footsteps coming on the hallway but when i turned around it wasn't you